show, center spotlight, and we watch the stage glow, backstage access, but you're seated at the front row, house lights shut off, and here we Good morning, Liberty North, and welcome back to KNET. Today is March 16, 2015. Today we will have all of your announcements. So, Sam, what will you have on weather? Today we have a week high of 82 degrees with sunny skies. I'll have more on that later on in the show. And I'll have all the sports you need to know later on. Well, let's get the show started. Your net news starts now. Let's start off with your announcements. Students, student ambassador applications are now available. Pick one up in the Counseling Center. The deadline is March 20th. Freshmen are also encouraged to apply. Seniors, if you know your future college plans, please come down to the Counseling Center and write them on an eagle to add to our SOAR Eagles wall. The second annual dodgeball tournament will be held on Thursday, March 26th at 7 p.m. and Friday, March 27th during Eagle Hour. Pick up an informational packet during lunch this week for more information. Scholar Bowl took third place in their tournament this Saturday. Tim Haynes tied for the title of top scorer, earning 76 points per game. Elliot Yoakum tied for third ranked scorer, earning 53 points per game. Congratulations, guys. Thursday through Saturday, Park Hill South will host the Student Council State Convention. They're hosting a statewide service project, Think Big, Give Big, to help youth in the KC area. We will be collecting new and gently used jeans. If you would like to donate, please bring jeans to room 812 by this Thursday. Newspaper is doing a free March Madness bracket contest with lots of prizes to win, such as Buffalo Wild Wings, Chipotle, and more. Brackets need to be filled out and returned to newspaper room or a newspaper student by Thursday. That is all the announcements we have for you today. Sean, what do you have on sports? Thanks, Lexi. Well, over the weekend, the Liberty North baseball team hosted their second annual Jamboree, hosting Staley, Oak Park, and Ray Peck. The team got in some good work all in preparation for the season opener this Saturday at 6.15 against Ray Peck at home. In other news, former Eagle All-American Andrew Volgaball hit a walk-off grand slam last night for Pitt State, giving his college team a huge 8-5 win. Congrats, Andrew. That's all I got on sports today. Sam, what's good with the weather? Thanks, Sean. As I said before, today the high is 82 degrees. It is going to cool off for the rest of the week. Tomorrow, for St. Patrick's Day, it is going to drop down to 58 degrees with a low 37 degrees and mostly sunny skies. That's all I have for you today. Guys, back to you. Thanks, Sam. That is all we have for today's edition of KNET. We will be back here Wednesday with World News Wednesday. And don't forget tomorrow St. Patrick's Day, so wear your green to avoid being pinched. But until then, we'll catch, catch you on, on the north side. side. Ladies and gents, welcome to the rock show. Center spotlight, and we watch the stage glow. Backstage access, but you're seated at the front row. House lights shut off.